Hello my dear friend here we have the third exercise question completely based on the concept of correlation product and here we have three different set A that is 1 to 3 B containing element 3 and 4 C containing element 4 5 and 6 and then we need to find out uh, the correlation product of set A and set B intersection C and in the second question we need to find out the new set where uh, the first set is A cross B and second set is A cross C all right so for this to solve this, uh, let's solve first the first question. To solve first question, we need to first find out B intersection C. And uh, to find out B intersection C, I hope uh, you have very well concept of set theory. Intersection C, that is 4, 5, 6. Now, what is the common thing? Intersection means uh, the set of common uh, elements, you know. So, common is here only one. That is 4 here also, 4 here also. So, it is 4, all right. So now we can easily find out A cross B intersection C. Now uh, A is containing the element 1, 2, 3 and uh, cross, cross now the set from the B intersection C that is 4, right? And uh, the Cartesian product means just a pairing, you know, how they can get paired that we need to find out. So 1 can get paired with 4 so it will be 1 comma 4 and then 2 can get paired with 4 so it will be 2 comma 4 and again 3 can get paired with 4 so it will be 3 comma 4 all right and that's it this is this is our solution let's jump for the second question uh, in the second question first we need to find out a cross b and then a cross c so let's first find out a cross b all right so a we have 1 2 3 let's write 1 2 3 cross B in B we have 3 4 and as I told you here that the Cartesian product of any uh, numbers is just a possible uh, the set of total possible order pairs alright so one can get paired with 3 so it will be 1 3 and similarly you know one can get paired with 4 also so it will be 1 4 but uh, my dear friend 2 can also get paired with 3 so it will be 2 3 similarly my dear friend 2 can also get paired with 4 so it will be 2 4 Similarly, 3 can get paired with 3, so it will be 3, 3, and again 3 will get paired with 4, so it will be 3, 4, alright? So, uh, this is A cross B. And uh, same time, we need to find out A cross C also. So, let's find out A cross C. And the element of A, we know that is 1, 2, 3, and uh, cross C. The element of C is uh, 4, 5, 6, okay? Now let's start pairing. 1 can get paired with 4, so it's 1, 4. Similarly, 1 can get paired with 5, so it's 1, 5. Similarly, 1 can get paired with 6, so it's 1, 6. Now this 2 can get paired with 4, so it will be 2, 4. 2 can also get paired with 5, so it will be 2, 5. 2 can also get paired with 6, so it will be 2, 6. Now the turn of 3, 3 can get paired with 4, so it will be 3, 4. Similarly, 3 can get paired with 5, so it will be 3, 5. Similarly, 3 can get paired with 6, so it will be 3, 6. Alright, and this is total uh, A cross C. And now the question is saying us we need to find out uh, A cross B intersection A cross C. Alright, so uh, A cross B intersection A cross C will be now those which are common in uh, this set as well as in this set. Uh, I didn't have dare to write those all again, so I'm just gonna choose what is common, all right? One three first. Let me find out whether I'm going to get one three anywhere or not. One three nowhere, so it's not. One four. I'm getting anywhere. Yes. Here we have the common thing. One four. So first limit we got one four. And now I'm gonna find out two three. Where do do we have two three somewhere? No. So no problem. Two four. Do we have two four somewhere? Yes, we have two four okay so 2 4 and 3 3 is there anywhere 3 3 no is there anywhere 3 4 yes we have 3 4 so this is our solution for the second question we first find out the uh, Cartesian product of a and b then we find out the Cartesian product of a cross c you know a and c and then we finally find out the total common part you know uh, between this set and this set it means uh, the the intersection of say it a cross b and say it a cross c i hope you understand it this is this is how you know you need to solve first uh here you get you know any kind of uh, 
uh, in, in any kind of set operation you can get here also you can get any kind of separation uh, set operation here we have uh, intersection sometimes you may get union you may get difference you may get complement anything you may get so just solve according to the shared theory according to the concept of shared theory that we learned if you have not uh, the concept of shared theory then we have a very uh, very very good uh, playlist for the shared theory you'll get complete knowledge for shared theory just uh, check out in our playlist all right